the Lord is going to answer your prayers tonight in the name of Jesus. I welcome you all to the Hour of Solution, a prayer-based program. And this night is going to be a glorious night. It's going to be a night of rejoicing for you. It's going to be a night that God will turn around your situation. It's going to be a powerful night. It's going to be a night when your Red Sea will be parted before you. It's going to be a night of testimonies for you. It's going to be a night of turnaround for you. And as usual, it's going to be a night of prayers. We are going to pray tonight. We are going to call upon God tonight. Viewers all over the world watching us at this moment, I want to welcome you to this powerful program, The Hour of Solution. Be hopeful tonight. Be ready to receive the touch of God tonight. This night, I'm assuring you, as the Lord God liveth, your story will change. This night, the Lord will rewrite the stories of your life. This night, I want to congratulate you because the sick will be healed, the oppressed will be delivered. Whatever is your present state now, whatever is your present negative condition now, during this hour of solution, I want to assure you that the Lord will touch you in Jesus' name. Invite your friends. Invite your family members, tag your colleagues, send the link to them. Let them know that we are already on air. And this night is a powerful night. It's a glorious night. It's a night of divine intervention. It's a night when hopeless situations will be dealt with by the power of God. And this night I'm speaking to us on something wonderful, something powerful. I'm speaking to us tonight on something that is extraordinary. And when we get into the program, you will know what I'm saying. This night will be powerful. This night will be glorious. There will be a lot of fireworks this night. And irrespective of your situation, I want to tell you there is hope. That's the aim of this program. There is hope. There is hope for you. There is hope in that your situation. The Lord will cause a turn around for you. And this night, don't allow anything to distract you. Be focused. Look unto God. Don't allow anything to distract you. When it is time to pray, you pray. When it is time to hear the word of God as I exhort you, you listen carefully because that will form the basis of our prayers. And once again, I want to welcome you all, our viewers, our friends, all over the globe that is watching us tonight, that is viewing us tonight from any part of the world, whether in Lagos, Nigeria, whether in uh, Burkina Faso, whether in Senegal, whether in uh, Canada, whether in America, whether in Lagos, Nigeria, anywhere. You are, viewing, you are viewing us this day and this hour and this night. I want to encourage you. I want to assure you program will bring about a solution to your life challenges in Jesus' name. Let's have a word of prayer together. Father, we thank you for this time. We thank you for this moment. We bless you for another time of coming before your presence. 
We want to thank you for the great things you have done through this program, the Hour of Solution. Thank you for men that you have touched. Thank you for as many that you have visited. Thank you, Lord, for tears that you have wiped away. Thank you for the great things you have done through this program. Thank you for your servant that you have been using week after week to release the power of God, to bring hope to the hopeless. Lord, we want to thank you for what you are going to do tonight, what you are going to do today through this program. We want to bless you for what you are going to do once again in this hour of solution. Oh Lord, this night, this hour, this time, I am praying that your power will come down. Your glory will come down. This program, this night, we address every negative situation of our viewers in the name of Jesus. I pray that this night, your power will come down. Where your people are right now, viewing this program, your power will come down at that place. Your glory will come down tonight. The anointing that will change situations. The anointing that will part the Red Sea. The anointing that will divide the Red Sea. Lord, I pray that you will release that anointing this night in the name of Jesus. As many that will be viewing us this night, that their case appears hopeless. Lord, I know there's no hopeless case before you. Because you are the mighty God. You are the God of all impossibilities. I therefore pray that for such people, for such situations, you will visit them this night. During this hour of solution, you will touch them. You will change their negative situations. You will give them hope. You will rewrite their stories in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray that during this time, you will release the power to pray. You will release the spirit of prayer. You will release the anointing to pray in the name of Jesus. I exercise authority over every principalities and powers. Powers that want to disrupt, disrupt this program. Powers that want to, Lord, distract the people so that they will not get the best. I come against such powers by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I bind them in the name of Jesus. Every principalities and powers, every elements, the sorcerer that want to bewitch the people, bewitch their attention, that want to distract the people, that want to confuse the people, so that they will not get their freedom this moment. I come against every elements, the sorcerer. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I decree that this night, O oh God, there will be freedom. This night, there will be a great release. During this hour of solution, the power of God will move mightily. You will change the situations of men. You will give hope to men. You will roll away their challenges. You will cause their red sea to part into two in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, because you have answered. For in Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Once again, I welcome uh, every one of us to the hour of solution. By God's grace, the servant of God has prepared by the grace of God for tonight's program. And I'm believing God there will be a mighty move of the Spirit of God tonight. There will be a move of the supernatural tonight. This night, I want to tell you the Lord will surprise you. The Lord will shock you because the power of God is going to be made manifest. Like as I said, I will be speaking to speaking on something powerful this night. It's something that everyone needs to hear. It's something that everybody needs. And this night, I want to assure you, anywhere you are watching us from, whether in Nigeria, whether in Lagos, whether from Abuja, whether from Malaysia, whether from China, whether from Hong Kong, anywhere you are watching us from, the power of God 
we visit you tonight in the name of Jesus. And I want to tell you, this night there is no impossibility before our God. There is no impossible situation that will not be changed tonight. I know what I'm saying. It's going to be a powerful night. It's going to be a night. Even if you are dead, yes. If you have somebody that is dead this night, yes. The power of resurrection will come upon them. They will come alive in the name of Jesus. And I want to encourage our viewers. Remember, this is the hour of solution. A prayer-based program. It's a program whereby we really pray. And I want to encourage you this night, you have to pray. You have to pray. That's your weapon. You have to pray. That's your means of solution. You have to pray. And as you pray tonight, I want to assure you, as the Lord God liveth, there will be a solution to your life's challenges in Jesus' name. This night, I'll be speaking to us on something powerful before we pray. I'll be speaking to us tonight on the topic, the God of impossibilities. Yes, what a wonderful God. I'll be speaking to us tonight on the topic, the God of impossibilities. And you will see God in action tonight. You will see the God of impossibilities in action tonight. You will see him changing situations tonight. You will see him intervening in your life's matter tonight. You will see him visiting you tonight. And so whatever is your whatever is your situation, I want to tell you tonight, the God of impossibilities is with us tonight. And every impossible situation before you, every impossible condition before you, every condition that seems hopeless, and, it's, and, and it appears as if there's no solution. I want to tell you there's a solution to every problem. And this night, you will see the God of impossibilities at work. Remember once again, this is the hour of solution. And the aim of this program is to bring solution to every problem. The purpose of this program is to let men know that their situation is not hopeless. Is to let men know that there's a God that is interested in their affairs and that changes situations. And once again tonight, I'll be speaking to us, before we get into the time of praying, I'll be speaking to us on the topic the God of impossibilities. Hallelujah. That God will move tonight. That God will surprise you tonight. That God will deliver you tonight. person that is there and they say that the, the, your, your fallopian tube is blocked. I want to tell you the God of impossibility will touch those tubes. That person that is there and it appears as if you, 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 your, your hand want to paralyze. I want to tell you the God of impossibility will touch you this night. Those hands that appears as if is going to paralyze. The God of all, all impossibilities will revive those hands in the name of Jesus. We'll take a test from the book of Exodus. Exodus. We'll take a test from the book of Exodus chapter 14. Exodus chapter 14. We we'll read from verse 13 to 15 and verse 21 to 22. Exodus chapter 14. I read from verse 13. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not. And that's what God wants me to tell you tonight. Fear you not. No matter your situation, don't be distressed. No matter your condition, don't, don't be hopeless. Fear ye not. 
Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show to you today. For the Egyptians, whom ye have seen today, ye shall see them again no more. Hallelujah. Stand still. This night you will see the raw power of God. Remember, I'm speaking to us on the topic, the God of impossibilities. And the Lord wants me to tell you, fear not. Fear not. Stand still. This night you will see God in action. You will see the move of the power of God. This night, God will show you his salvation. He will show you mercy. He will deliver you. He will make a way for you. He will prove himself strong and mighty. He's a shelter in the time of storm. Are you passing through a storm in your life? Are there storms in your life at this time? The Lord is telling you at this time, stand still and see my salvation. Verse 14, the Lord shall fight for you, and ye shall hold your peace. The Lord shall fight for you, and ye shall hold your peace. And the Lord said unto Moses, Wherefore criest thou unto me? Speak unto the children of Israel, that they go forward. Hallelujah. I love that. I love that place. I love that place. This is not a time to cry. If you have been crying, the Lord will wipe away your tears this night. If you have been weeping, the Lord said, I should tell you, cry not. The God of impossibilities has not changed. Cry not. Whatever has been making you to cry, you weep in the night. You weep in the day. And it appears as if your, 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 your life is full of sorrow. The Lord said, I should tell you this night, cry not. The Lord will visit you this night. And this night is a night of moving forward. The Lord said, it's time to move forward. You know some people, they only concentrate on their, on their problems. They only focus on the mountain. They read the negative medical report over and over. They ponder over it. They think so much about the medical report. They look so much on the negative med medical report that have told them that their case is impossible. But the Lord is telling you, look away from the medical report. Move forward. Look unto God, the God of impossibilities. And this night, he will visit you in the name of Jesus. Verse 21. And Moses stretched out his hand over the sea. And the Lord caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind all that night and made the sea dry land and the waters were divided. Verse 22. And the children of Israel went into the midst of the sea upon the dry ground and the waters were a wall unto them in their right hand and on their left. What a wonderful passage. This is just a story about the children of Israel. They were faced with difficult situation. They were faced with difficult life challenges. They were trying to run away from their enemies. But before them, there's a, another intimidating enemy, the Red Sea. And it appears as if no way of escape for them. It appears as if their life has come to an end. It appears as if their situation is hopeless. But the Lord told the children of Israel, through Moses, go forward. And maybe you are like the children of Israel, faced with difficult life challenges. Are you hopeless? Are you faced with difficult life challenges? Does it appear as if 
Your case is hopeless. Are you fearful? Has that negative medical report, has it told you that there's no, your case is impossible? I want to tell you this night, the God of impossibilities will turn around your situation in the name of Jesus. Our God can do all things. There's nothing that God cannot do. There is no impossible situation before God. The Bible says that with God, all things are possible. And this night, during this hour of solution, a prayer-based program, I bring to you the word of the Lord. I bring to you the word of hope. With God, all things are possible. When it appears as if the children of Israel has no hope again, when it appears as if the Egyptians are going to finish the children of Israel, the God of impossibilities, the God that can do all things, hallelujah, I love that God. He's a powerful God. He showed himself strong and mighty, and he parted the Red Sea before the children of Israel. Every Red Sea before you, the Lord will part tonight in the name of Jesus. Every Red Sea, Red Sea of barrenness, Red Sea of hopelessness, Red Sea of sickness, Red Sea of joblessness. Every Red Sea before you, I want to assure you the God of impossibilities will part those Red Sea before you in the name of Jesus. That reminds me of a, of a particular woman. She was faced with a difficult situation, a hopeless situation. She was pregnant, and later she, she discovered that the baby was not moving again in the womb. She was not feeling the baby again, and she rushed down to, the, to, to see the doctor. And the doctor gave her a news that was not palatable, a news that no expectant mother will want to hear. And the doctor told her, the baby is dead. It was an unpalatable news. It was a difficult situation. I could still remember when she left the doctor, and the doctor told her, your baby is dead. There's no life in your baby again. We need to perform a caesarean operation, a CS, so that we could bring out the dead baby. And the woman said, I won't do that yet. And by the grace of God, she put across a, a, a call to us. And we told her, go to your church. As you go to your church, fall on the altar, the altar of power, the altar of solution, and cry unto God. And thank God, the woman listened to her counsel and went to her church straight ahead and fell on the altar, and called upon God, and cried unto God. Remember, with God, all things are possible. There's nothing that God cannot do. He's a specialist in dealing with impossible situations. And that's how that woman took to the counsel given to her by the man of God, and she ran down to her church, fell on the altar, and cried unto God and called upon God. Before you know it, she felt the moving of the baby. She felt the shaking of the baby. She ran back to the hospital again and said, doctor, text me again, text me again. The doctor was, was confounded. The doctor was surprised. The God of impossibility touched that woman and the dead baby came back to life. And to the glory of the Lord, the woman delivered the baby safely. That's the God of impossibilities. With God, all things are possible. With God, all things are possible. Whatever is your present situation, are you faced with difficult and negative medical reports that have told you that your situation is impossible? I want to tell you this night, your situation is not impossible. Are you faced with hunger? Are you faced with the Red Sea, just like the children of Israel, intimidating Red Sea, 
fearful Red Sea. And it appears as if there's no way of escape for you. I want to tell you tonight, the God of impossibilities will make a way for you. Are you imprisoned by the wicked one, by the powers of darkness? And it appears as if they are going to end your life. I want to tell you with God, all things are possible. And this night, the God of impossibilities is going to touch you. The God of impossibilities is going to break that yoke. As I said, God is a specialist in dealing with impossible situations. Are you bedridden? Is your life hopeless? Is your life meaningless? Are you fed up with life? And that reminds me, just a, a, a few weeks ago, some of us, you, you, you could remember vividly that the servant of God said that somebody, suicide is, 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 not, is not the solution. Whatever you are passing through, the Lord will touch you. Somebody from one of the African countries just called us last week and said, Pastor, I thank you that I connected to the hours uh, solution a few weeks ago. And I heard you saying, you that person that is there, suicide is not the solution. He said, Pastor, I have been contemplating committing suicide because my life was hopeless. My wife has left me for years now. My life was upside down. But when I heard you say that suicide is not the solution, and I followed through the program, I prayed the prayers, I made up my mind that I'm not going to commit suicide again. Few days after that program, my wife that have not called me for years gave me a call and told me that she's coming back. He said, Pastor, as I'm speaking to you now, my wife is back with me. That's what God can do. He's the God of him, all impossibilities. Just this, just this few weeks. I don't know the man from Adam. This is a live program. It's a global program. Anybody can view it from any part of the world. And she prayed with us. He prayed with us. He followed through with us. And by the grace of God, by the word of the Lord, the servant of God said, somebody is there. Suicide is not the solution. And today he's a happy man, reunited with, with, with the wife. I want to tell you, the God of all impossibilities will cause a turnaround in your life tonight in Jesus' name. Very soon we are going to pray. And every red sea before you, as the Lord God liveth, Every Red Sea will be subdued this night in the name of Jesus. The Red Sea in your family, the Red Sea in your marriage, the Red Sea in your business, the Red Sea in your health, as the Lord parted the Red Sea before the children of Israel. This night, every Red Sea will be parted in the name of Jesus. The Lord said, Fear not. Fear not. Fear not. Whatever is your situation, Whatever is your condition, this night there's a solution to every negative situation in Jesus' name. And the power of God is going to move this night. The power of God is going to rewrite your stories this night. The power of God is going to no, 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 part the Red Sea before you. The power of God is going to heal you tonight. That person that is there and you are jobless. You are jobless, you have been looking for a job. I want to tell you and I want to assure you, the God of all impossibilities will surprise you. Surprise you. He's going to give you a job. Very soon, you are going to be, you are going to be employed in the name of Jesus. That person that is there and they, and they told you that your, the egg in your body is dead and you cannot conceive as a woman. The Bible said that who has believed that report. And the report I'm bringing to you this night is that the God of impossibilities can do all things. Medical science doesn't, doesn't have the final say. Remember the testimony of that woman I, I, I shared with us. The baby in the womb was dead. And we told her what to do. And she listened to the servant of God and took to divine counsel. Before you know it, the power of God 
the God of impossibilities, touched the, the dead baby in the womb. Life came back. And today, she's a mother. She's a carrier of her own baby. Every impossible situation in your life will become, it will, it will become possible in the name of Jesus. Every intimidating red sea before you, I want to tell you this night there is hope for you. I keep on sharing my testimony with us. Years back, my situation looked hopeless. It appears as if the enemy gang up to destroy my life. But I made up my mind that I would not be consumed by the enemy. And I began to pray. I began to pray. I began to pray. Just as we are going to do tonight. I began to pray. Before you know it, the God of impossibilities showed up in my case and dislodged the enemy. And today, I'm a happy man. And today, I've seen the demonstration of the power of God in my life. And this night is your turn. Every negative situation will change. Every negative circumstances in your life will change. Remember, this night, I'm speaking to us on the God of impossibilities. With God, all things are possible. He's a specialist in dealing with impossible situations. And whatever is the impossible situation in your life, the Lord will deal with it tonight in the name of Jesus. Remember, this is not a time to, 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 to concentrate on, on what the enemy said. This is not a time to concentrate on your, on your challenges. This is not a time to concentrate on the problem. This is a time to concentrate on God. The Bible says that for with God, nothing shall be impossible. I want to share another testimony with us. And I'm doing that to, to, to tell us that with God, nothing shall be impossible. Just a few days ago, maybe the woman could be watching, watching us now because this is a live program. I will not mention the, 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 the country where, where she is. She's one of the, in one of the notable countries in the developed world. Somebody gave, gave her a link to this hour of solution. And what was her problem? She had been having kidney challenge for three years. And every week she will have to undergo dialysis. Very expensive. But she keyed in during this hour of solution, the, la the, 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 the last weekend. And we prayed. And as we are praying right there where she, she, she is, in one of the developed countries, the power of God struck her. Hallelujah. The power of God struck her. And life came back on, onto her. In fact, she had been waiting for, for, for a kidney transplant. But during the hour of solution, because this program is meant to bring solution to hopeless situations. This program is meant to bring hope to difficult situations. And we are here. We prayed. The power of God moved and touched her there. And that's how you know, her situation changed. And she said, no. I must call that servant of God, whom the Lord used to release his, his power upon me. That's an impossible situation. Imagine somebody passing through three times dialysis every week, and it appears as if she was going to die. But just during this short program, the power of God touched her. The power of God gave her life. The power of God gave her hope. I'm telling you this night, whatever is your situation, no matter how difficult your situation is, no matter how difficult your condition is, the power of God will touch you tonight. The God of impossibilities will be manifested tonight. And every of your situation will change in the name of Jesus. Let's go to the Lord in prayer tonight. Let's give him all the glory. Worship him tonight. Worship him. Worship him tonight. Exhort him. It's a, it's a powerful night. It's a glorious night. Worship him. Worship him tonight. The God of impossibilities will touch you tonight. The Lord will turn your, your night today. The God of impossibilities will visit you tonight. No matter the difficult situation confronting you, this night is a night of power. It's a, it's a glorious night. Worship Him this night. Worship Him this night. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. Worship him, worship him. Give him all the glory. It's a powerful night. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. You are wonderful. Wonder. 
is your night, the night of power. It's your night, the night whereby God will divide your rest. It's your night, the night whereby God will turn every impossible situation in your life. It's your night, a glorious night, a night of fire, a night of the demonstration of the power of God. A night that God will deliver you, a night that God will heal you. A night that God will break your yokes. That person that, no, 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 something, you, you, you are pursuing something. The more you are pursuing it, it's running away from you. That good thing is running away from you. Worship God because this night, the Lord will help you. The Lord will help you. The Lord will visit you. That good thing that you have been, you have been expecting, that good thing that you have been running after, you are going to possess it. Worship Him. Worship Him. You are wonderful. setting the captive free. It's a night of divine intervention. It's a night of testimony. It's a night of rejoicing. It's a night of coming alive. It's a night of escape. Escape from poverty. Escape from that death sentence. That person at that, at that hospital now and you are battling with your life. I see the power of God visiting you in that hospital now. I see the great God, the God of impossibilities, delivering you from the power of death. Yes, it's a powerful night. The night of prayers, worship Him. Worship Him. Are you not seeing what I'm saying? I see the glory of the Lord. I see people being delivered. I see the situations of people being turned around. I see you being broken, yes. The God of impossibilities. It's a night of impossibilities. Worship Him. Rise up and worship Him. It's a powerful night. It's a night to remember. It's a night of turnaround for you. Worship Him. Worship Him. Wonderful God. Glorious God. Powerful God. This is a shelter in the time of storm. The mighty God. The one that parted the rest into two. He's a God that will visit you tonight. Every yoke will be broken tonight. Every yoke will be broken tonight. This night is your night. It's a night of power. It's a night of glory. It's a night of divine visitation. It's a night of life. All those people that appear as if you are going to die. I speak to you as a servant of God. You will live, you will not die. You will live, you will not die. Every sentence of death over your life, I cancel it in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray now. Begin to pray now. Speak to your Red Sea, yes. Speak to your Red Sea anywhere you are now watching this live program. The hour solution is time to pray. Speak to every Red Sea. I subdue my Red Sea, yes. Every Red Sea in your life. Every Red Sea in your life. The Red Sea of hopelessness. You speak to that Red Sea, yes. The Red Sea of hopelessness. The Red Sea of barrenness. The Red Sea of poverty. The Red Sea of sorrow. The rest of your parents and speak to your rest tonight. The prayer has started. The prayer has started. It's a powerful night. I told you this night is a powerful night. Speak to your rest. Yes. The rest. The rest. The rest that have blocked your life. The rest that have limited your life. The rest that have really resisted your life. I speak to the rest. Yes. You speak to the rest. This is not the time to be looking at the problem. This is not the time to be looking at your resi. Speak to your resi. Speak to your resi tonight. Every resi in your life. Every resi in your family. Every resi in your health. Every resi in your marriage. I say speak to your resi tonight. Pray. Call upon God. 
the hour of solution, the God of, impo of, of impossibilities, the God of impossibilities, the God of impossibilities, that God is here to break every yoke, to break every yoke. Speak to your Red Sea. Speak to your Red Sea. If you don't speak to your Red Sea, the Red Sea will not part. You speak to the Red Sea of barrenness in your life. You speak to the Red Sea of stagnation in your life. You speak to the Red Sea, that person that it appears as if you want to develop stroke. You speak to that Red Sea in your life. You speak to that Red Sea in your life. It's a night of power, the hour of solution. That solution for you this night. There is solution for you tonight. There is solution for you tonight. The Lord says, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Speak to every Red Sea. I speak to my Red Sea. I speak to the Red Sea in my life. The rest is before the children of Israel. Tonight, your rest.